voz para ver lo que está pasando. Yo, what's up? How you doing, oh. Christian? <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? Good to be oh. back. <laughs> I know, right? She episode 30. Episode 3 0. 30. So episode 30, and I still haven't done <laughs> completed a full episode. <laughs> As hey. you <laughs> No, it's good. It looks good right now. There's no good. You know, let's not jinx it. There's no lagging. It looks looks and sounds good today. <laughs> I'm off the Wi-Fi. <laughs> nice nice man um how was work it was good you know just trying to make some money <laughs> not enough trying yeah. to beat inflation <laughs> it's been it's been crazy man it's been I mean, really crazy um you know shit we work together if people didn't know <laughs> surprise 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 um but nah dude i mean at least this week's been a uh, pretty calm compared to the past few weeks so that's kind of cool yeah um yeah there's been a lot uh going on also in the in the world um but yeah man uh i think uh i think the where i was telling you right before it went on it's like we get a lot more views on rumble than youtube uh, i think youtube's like really kind of messing with the i don't know we don't hit the algorithm uh so it's like you know i, I posted on rumble so this should be live on rumble too right now and i've been noticing it gets way more more plays on there so you know might just switch shift the focus to to rumble you know what i mean right but you know that's that's uh you know not the only one but <clears throat> there's I was, I was, uh, before we came on, I think Tucker released something where he had the, the chief from, I think the Capitol police and he was, I haven't really paid attention to it or read it that Pelosi gave someone else like a promotion the next day. Basically, you know, it seems, it seems like for the inaction, you know what I mean? For in, for the inaction or for taking out Babbitt? <laughs> might be both <laughs> so you know so I, I we gotta check that one out for the next episode but i literally just got the the notification like kind of right before we came on so you know yeah, tucker's been doing good they're uncovering a lot of stuff on the on the, on the good good boy dams yeah what's going on over there yeah now we were talking about it earlier right it's like you know, we see all these things that get uncovered and, you know, we wonder, OK, what's going to happen from this point? Right. Because it's been a lot. It's been a lot of, you know, here and there that that's been released, that we found this, that they benefited from this and that and this and that. And it's like, you know, it kind of gets not, not annoying, but it's like, all right, well, what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. You see it. I mean, today I saw, or I think it was yesterday morning or night, it said, uh, I think it was today actually where they were saying about, uh, talking about the 20 million that was, uh, that the Biden family took, you know? Um, yeah. How is nobody surprised about that? You know, how is nobody making, why isn't the headline? I don't see any breaking news anywhere. You know, that seems pretty, pretty heavy. <laughs> Yeah, so the the thing is like now it's like okay, is the what I was thinking and what I was telling you is like are they gonna have to wait until Trump gets in office to then act on all this stuff, you know? But it, and if that's the case, it's like all right, well you have to hope Trump does win. You know what I mean? You know, it, we've talked about it before on here with Danny. It's like if there's if there's no cheating, there's no way Trump doesn't win. But obviously, they're doing everything they can to not even get it to that point. Right. Yeah, they're doing everything they can. I mean, um, I was listening and I, you know, all the evidence that they have the, that they have that they're using to indict him is the same evidence that they supposedly had, you know, in the beginning of January, January 7th. 
<laughs> so, you know, why they waited so long, why they waited two years. You know, we are getting closer to the election times. You know, so it makes sense to, you know, deter whatever type of following Trump is gaining right now. You know, he's he's killing it on the Republican side. There's nobody even close to him. You know, you can add the the, the rest of the candidates and they don't even add up to Trump's numbers. So, you know, it's it's going to be hell of a race it's I know, gonna right? drama <laughs> full. it's gonna be you know a couple protests a couple incidents here <laughs> and there yeah a couple bricks thrown a couple cities burnt down yeah you know the usual maybe right. maybe slide in a pandemic when we least expect it you know yeah i think i think uh less people will fall for it but i still think i think i'm saying earlier is like people on the fence right might just like there's gonna be people that are on the fence that will come back down because it's like they'll fall for it they'll go oh man look at this you know whatever whatever the the storyline is whatever the news gives it the democrats whoever right someone's gonna always have their spin to it and you know there there's people that are waking up there's people that you know maybe have like their eyes are barely opening so we'll see man by the time it gets to november 2024 you know i think we'll have a good idea of you know what's gonna happen realistically we can't take another four years of of a biden administration you know that's also why we can't lose the house and we got to do what we can to to get the senate and sometimes it feels like the republicans aren't even helping themselves because everything is it feels like everything is so divided right so it's like it kind of you you know it it, it Sometimes it seems demoralizing, but at the same time, it's like, all right, well, we got a year, you know, that's why we're here. That's why we're trying to avoid all that nonsense. Right. And, you know, what it is, too, is, you know, uh, the goal of anybody that's anti-Trump, not even just anti-Trump, anybody that just doesn't want him to win or whatever. uh, The goal is to sway those people that are on the that are, you know, teetotaling on that line, you know, Mm -hmm. and it's not a vote against Trump. It's just a vote. Again, yeah, it is a vote against Trump. Anybody else would do better for them. And that's coming from the Democrats and the Republicans, you know. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of Republicans getting, you know, kind of kind of blinded by, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it, um, the Kennedy, right? You yeah. know, people are like, oh, you know, I'll vote for him. He's showing his libertarian side, kind of side, you know, and that's fine and all. But, you know, that's why it just kind of sucks to have this whole two-party system, you know. Because, yeah. you know, sometimes you just don't align and, you know, they're just, like you said, they're doing everything in their power just to take one vote away from Trump. And that's the thing, too. That's kind of part of my point. It's like there's only two parties. Right. So obviously, in you know, right now it's like we go down our values. We're not going to vote Democrat. Right. Yeah. So there's one more party. Unfortunately, that's how that's how it is. Right. That's how it works out. It's it's this party or this party. This other party lines up more with our values, but sometimes, you know, you got to question what they're doing. And, you know, as part of the thing, it's like we're not saying one party's absolutely better than the other, like, you know, perfect. They both have their flaws. But at the end of the day, it's like, all right, this one, this one represents my values more. And that's the unfortunately, that's the system we got. So we can't just give up on all of them. You know, we have to in a sense, fight to keep the one that's supposed to be ours instead of just give up. Because it's easy to give up and be like, oh, well, we're not going to win and this and that. And yeah, sometimes it feels like that, but that's not that's not the way to, that's not the mentality to have. It's it's rough, right? Because you're, you're one person out of millions and millions of people, right? We're millions of, you know, Americans. So, to say that you belong with one group or not and not the other, you know, you're dividing yourself by 50, you know, and to say that 50% of the, of the country think alike is something crazy in itself too, you know, but you know, the, well, the actual sad part is, you know, before it was that I, w- I would notice like a little bit before the pandemic, if you're a Democrat, I think their goal was to prove, well, you know, prove to me how, 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 how big of a Democrat you are, you know, and mm-hmm. lately I've been seeing that kind of same same trickery you know on the republican side too where it's just like Mm. we're not getting anything done we're just you know taking each other's tricks and using it against each other or our own 
right? So it's like you got to put emphasis on local. Yeah, Take you do. Your local because, stuff. because, yeah, you're right, dude. That's what I'm seeing, too. I'm just seeing a lot of division all around, you know? And it's like, dude, like, how, how do – how do people expect to win? Right. And it's like, it's getting to the point where some conservatives are starting to feel like, you know, the liberals that, that don't talk to you, yeah. avoid you, write you off because you don't a hundred percent agree with everything that they believe. Like some conservatives are, are that now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like tough because it's like, dude, like, I don't know. Some people expect a hundred percent agreement on every single thing. And you're not gonna you're not gonna find it, dude. Three hundred and thirty million people, uh, if it's not more already in this country, you know, you're not gonna have a one hundred percent agreement with every single thing. It's not gonna work, you know. So that's what I'm saying. Is like you can't just give up and 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 oh, I'm not gonna vote or this guy sucks because he's not a hundred percent. You know, he's probably ninety five percent what I agree with, but he's not a hundred because that five percent, I'm not gonna vote at all. And then you got this other dude over here that's zero percent winning. You know what I mean? Like, there's no logic in that. It's like it's like a weird way of conservatives having like a liberal type of logic. I don't know. It makes no sense to me. And it is liberal logic because I think that's what they're seeing with Biden. You know, they look over to France and they see Macron. <laughs> they see him <laughs> win with like 30, 31 percent or thirty percent approval rate, and they're like. All right, well, he won that way. I think we could do the same. You know, it is going to be a little trickier, right? Because now Biden's going to have to do backflips and somersaults and actually go out. There's no pandemic hiding the whole thing where, you know, he can sit back and just wait around until, you know, come on. But yeah, dude, like the country's already, like, let's say, let's say it's already 50 50 divided, right? You got 50% that's Democrat, 50% that's Republican, right? So it's already. It's already a battle, right? In and of itself, right there. And it's like, but then you got you this 50% where 50% of those people are battling the other 50%. So now you got 50, 25, and 25. Who's gonna win? Yeah. 50% over here. Mm-hmm. But you know, we're so a lot of people are so caught up on I don't know what it is, but you know, if people don't unite and people don't work together, because at the end of the day, I feel a lot of people got the same goal. They just have their egos, their own personal things in the way that they don't even end up working together. They don't even consider, you know what I mean, trying to do other things. And and, and it's fine. It is what it is. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, you know, and I think, I don't know. It is, a, it is, there is a little divide between selfishness of like the, the one person, you know, looking out for his family. And then there's, you know, the other, the other side to the other side to the coin where, you just don't want <laughs> you're being lazy you're being you know we all have it you know so um yeah it's rough <laughs> it's yeah rough. It, it is it is but um you know we'll we'll see like we've been saying we'll see how it pans out this this year we got a full year to to try to get things on track and you oh know. and let me let me you know speak on that you know laziness right you know mm-hmm. you you're either active about it or you're lazy and you just see it on your phone, you're scrolling and stuff, and you see it and you're like, Oh, I don't like that. You know, that would come to my area, that would I, that would never fly with me. Mm-hmm. Right. And um the other day you just snuck up on me, man. There was a drag, uh, a drag show mm-hmm. at the Boys and Girls Club here, you know, in East Palo Alto. You oh, know? Yeah. So caught me off guard, yeah. you know. So it's like for not being active, you know. Yeah. It, it you're not active and then you know it, it it comes home. There's a couple blocks down, and you're like, "Oh, dang it!" Well, next one, not even active for that one, you know. And then next thing you know, you have, you know, mm-hmm. dilemmas. Try that in a small town, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's the thing, right? People, it's tough, man. It's tough to get people involved. You know what I mean? It's tough to get people to, you know, like you said, get activated because it, it's like they want to. Like, right. A lot of people say they want to. They say that they, you know, they want to do things. They want to save more. They want to do this and that. You know, when it comes down to it, it's like, you know, a lot of times they don't show up. And, you know, it's tough too. like, you know, there's a lot of events that go on 
but you know they're going on in the middle of the week you know on a tuesday mm-hmm. it's like dude we got we got full it sucks because it's like we got full-time jobs you know mm-hmm. it, if this was the only way you know our source of income right here and this is all we did it's like you know it'd be easier to attend those things but you know i got i got these responsibilities at work that i i just can't you know what i mean i can't not be at work because i got the responsibility at home and this is like my you know what i mean like i'm not, yeah, look, I'm not trying to make excuses think, it's just tougher yeah you don't think me and daniel want to be holding hands with tucker and be like hey <laughs> <laughs> So you see this right here? Official Patriot gear. You see this hat? Go buy it. Use the promo code LFM2020. We get paid if you do. That's all I got to say. So if, if you want us to be in like all these events, which we would love to be at, you know, we we got we got bills to pay. And- Quick little sponsor, send Daniel out that way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. And, and I hate saying it because it sounds like... Uh, it's like sounds like I'm making an excuse to not participate, right? Because then it feels like, you know, I'm just talking about it, but I'm not being active about it. Well, Daniel, you know how I mean? many people like you, how many people look like you are trying to do these things for this side? You know, it's a small margin. And then if people don't see, you know, we we're talking about earlier, right? You, you do want to see representation. You do want to see, you know, people that look like you you know, doing the things because maybe you do feel a certain way, but you don't see anybody, right? You don't Mm -hmm. see anybody in your local town making those moves. And I think that, I do think the Hispanic culture has that type of, you know, that conservativeness, you know, but it's the next generation that rules, you know, and, you know, it's kind of (laughs) brainwashing. Yeah. And and that's the thing too, dude. It's like, you know, we've said this before, a lot of times it's like we're not doing this for now right today it is what it is you know whatever's going on in this world we're we're fighting it now you know real time because you know i think uh this came up when when belinda was on it was like you know if our parents or grandparents would have put up more of a fight or if they would have been more informed you know who knows what today would be looking like you know but you know, fortunately, today is what it is because of the result of the result of that. Yeah, so yeah. now it's like going forward, you know, for for our kids, when they start to grow up, you know, when they get to our age, like, what are they going to have? You know, it feels like we've lost a lot of freedoms or the ability to be free. Right. As far as like what we can say, what we can do, what, uh, you know, our Second Amendment, all this other stuff. It just feels like it's just going away going away going away and going away so it's like by the time our kids get older it's like are we just gonna allow it to be gone or are we gonna stop this and be like nah these are here to stay you know these these are ours to stay can't nobody in government who are just people they're nobodies they're just people aren't gonna take our rights away and you know i think that's why like i'm hoping with this administration, you know, people are waking up and and people just in general seeing, seeing the, the things that, you know, get passed or that they're trying to pass. Like that should be eye opening enough to be like, all right. Yeah. Like this is, this is BS, you know? Yeah. Well, it's, it's the hypocrisy, right? Mm-hmm. You got, uh, you got my good my good governor Gavin Newsom, you know, making all these laws about trying to take away my guns. San Jose, you know, they have to pay a gun insurance or something like that to go pick up ammo and they gotta show it and all that, mm-hmm. you know. But then every time there's a shooting, I go and see Gavin Newsom give his little speech of rr, rr, we gotta end it now. And he's got five guys and ladies with guns to the gills, man. Yeah. With their shades and just looking and you know, you drop your guns before I do, man. I don't have the luxury of Secret Service following me around, you mm-hmm. know. Sometimes I I pull, you know, I travel for my job, you know, so I'm going to these places. I don't I don't know every everywhere that I'm pulling over. <laughs> Sometimes I pull over Popeyes in Oakland. The I scariest know, right? thing I've ever done, man, and you know. <laughs> so, you know, you forget and I don't know how, you know, some people do use it for safety. Some people use it appropriately. Some people use it in their everyday lives, 
you know, mm-hmm. and for them to be thrown in the mix just because their shootings are, mo- actually, they're mostly gang shootings, right? Yeah. So throw the good gun owners in the mix with those guys. Um, that part doesn't make sense. Yeah. That that guy. So you know, so th- this is like, uh, you know, there's two there's two topics there, two recent stories that I think are super related to this, right? And well, three actually and you know we'll we'll start with this one right here so this is from the from the daily wire it says fbi kills utah man who allegedly posted online threats targeting joe biden and alvin bragg so the fbi shot and killed a utah man in his 70s who was accused of making threatening remarks online about president joe biden and manhattan manhattan district attorney alvin bragg so his name is craig I'm not going to get that middle name, (laughs) Robertson of Provo, Utah, who was described by the FBI as being between the ages of 70 and 75. So this is an old man. You know what I mean? It's not some some young guy. So anyhow, and he was shot during an early morning FBI raid in his home about 6.15 a.m. So the incident began when special agents attempted to serve an arrest warrant, the search warrant at the residence. A statement from the FBI said the subject is deceased. Robertson was facing three felony counts, including interstate threats, threats against the president, and influencing, impeding, and retaliating against federal law enforcement officers by threat. So, you know, not to read the whole thing, but this guy made a threat online, right? He's in he's in Utah. Uh, you know, I don't know how close Biden was to him at the moment, uh, but it's it's a, a what do you think about it? And then, so I actually, uh, I heard, I was hearing about this a little earlier today, and then I did hear the actual, the threats that he was making. Those <laughs> threats are pretty, pretty damn rough, man. But you know, again, we do have freedom of speech, right? But how far does that go? Can we be, can we be saying that? Um, oh, I hear Bragg is in Utah. Come meet mm. me here so I can put a hole in your brain. Something along the lines where he said that, right? Mm. You know, yeah. but where is it? You know, it does worry me because we do see that the FBI, the CIA, all these alphabet, you know, organizations, they, they're messing around with Twitter or X, whatever mm. it's called. They're influencing Facebook and all that stuff. So, you know, again, how did they go about that? You know, because now we do have a 78 year old guy dead. You know, yeah, yeah. You come guns flying. You know this guy is a sounds like a patriot, right? <laughs> or he's not happy with how the government's acting and how many people are, are you know are, are happy with how the mm-hmm. government's behaving. But Daniel, if the government shows up at your house throwing, you know, uh little smoke grenades or whatever it is, you know, I, I live in East Palo Alto. That happens to my neighbor every other day, you know. Mm. So I, I know those little con- concussion things and you know that would freak me out, that freaks everybody out. Yeah. You know, so how did they go about it? Mm. Why did they go about it? What did he do recently that was, you know, oh, man, we have to eliminate this guy? Mm. Like you said, how close was he, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, because yeah, I mean, he is free speech. Yeah. And that's that's kind of where I was, you know, thinking it's like, well, it is free speech, right? It might not be, you know. You can say whatever you want, right? But it's also like, okay, you gotta be, you gotta, in a sense, like, okay, yeah, if you make a threat on a president, right? It's like, you know, okay, how how realistic is that threat? Or are you just saying it? You know what I mean? Um, didn't didn't uh, Madonna say she wanted to blow up the White House? Shoot, I, didn't Daniel, her, I, would... I didn't see her get raided. Didn't Johnny Depp say he wanted to assassinate Trump? I didn't see him get raided. So it's like. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. They're they're free to say that if they want to. It's kind and of that's dumb. the thing, right? It's right. being selective. They said it. Exactly. So it's like, in a sense, it's like, okay, free speech is free speech, whether you like it or not. If he said that, yeah, it's probably not the best thing to say. But hey, by all means, if that's how you feel and that's how you want to, you know, speak your mind, you know, it, it, not everyone's gonna speak you know, correctly or politically correct and all that stuff. Some people are just going to let you know how they feel. And, you know, again, he's a 70, I think it's a 70, 75 year old man. 
it's like how how realistic was that threat right like yeah. so for the fbi to show up and and do a raid at six in the morning you know what i mean so it's like like you said what's the context of that raid did they just knock on the door did they you know is a dude sleeping still he hears a bang and you know gets his gun what they, what's they, the context of that they wanted the funk daniel they wanted the funk because they're not just going into New York. They're not going to California. You know, you're going into Utah. You're going to expect some, some, and you'd imagine, right? A whole agency versus one 78 year old. Chances are that guy doesn't have the helmet. That guy doesn't have the flak jacket. <laughs> that guy doesn't have. He doesn't have the Antifa yeah, uniform. We're going to 6 a.m. Catch uh -huh. you off guard. You know, that's Jocko time. You better be up carrying those boats, dude. <laughs> the CIA is going to get... And that's the whole thing. You know, those people that aren't scared, you know, the, the Democrats, right? Mm -hmm. Sooner or along the line, your guy loses power. And if you don't want the opposition doing it to you, you know, buckle up. You know, that's why you, you need... Oh, man, who knows, right? If we are yeah. turning into a banana republic, man. It's becoming, mm -hmm. you know, both presidents or both of our presidents that are running or whatever, active or, you know, running... They're getting indicted, you know, yeah. they're coming after them. Yeah, and that's the thing, too. It's like, all right, well, you're, you know, they're setting a standard that it's going to come back and bite them, right? It's like we were talking about earlier. It's like all those things that the Republicans are uncovering about the money Biden's gotten or his family's gotten. Right now, nothing's happening. But if they really do have all that evidence, which, you know, they're saying that they have, it's like, okay, when Trump gets in office or, you know, whoever the next Republican president is, you know, I imagine it's going to be Trump. Obviously, again, they're doing what they can to try to make sure it's not him. But when that person gets in, does that person just let that go? Or do they go, hmm, you know what? You did all this to Trump. Now let's, now it's our turn. So, you know, and then you got, then what do you got after that? What do you got going forward? So every time we get a new president, we're going to have the last president be indicted. We're going to have, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's, I don't know. I mean, if if there's the, the stuff that, you know, they're charging Trump with, it's, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it's pointless, right? Yeah. Now, if, if Biden really did, ex, you know, get paid, for policy decisions or influence, you know, that's a whole nother thing. Cause that's what it sounds like there. Right. Mm -hmm. Again, if they have all that evidence, then, you know, it is what it is from what I'm seeing right now on the Trump side. It's like, it's just like how he behaved on January 6th or after, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, dude, I, I just don't know where it goes after that. Are you just going to keep going back and forth? And then, you know, who, what's, that's that's not good either. No, it's not. It's terrifying, man. It's terrifying because everything, everything when you look around, nothing seems sustainable. The amount of food going up, uh, the you know how much your money's being worth. Our president, how how good is he doing us? Mm -hmm. um, uh, the president that we want is indicted. You know, you got that thing with Ukraine going on, Russia, you know, China. You know, where, where do we go from here? You know, do we continue supporting Ukraine? Do we continue to, you know, we have, we're, we're making opposition. And, and it's crazy. We were saying earlier that this seems to, you know, kind of rolled off in these last two years, right? Mm -hmm. We kind of used to, the United States is seeing their grip on, you know, on world economics. You know, people don't care. They're making breaks. They're worried about the, the cost of their money. They're people. Our allies are continuing to get oil from Russia, mm -hmm. you know, whether you believe it or not. But you're supposed to be down for the set, you know, and you're not. So <laughs> that that's where we're at, you know. Yeah, yeah. For real. Maybe we should be, we should practice a little bit of isolationism and just, you know, for one year, bring it back. But at the end of the day, I, I still think we're number one, as long as I'm alive. We're number mm -hmm. one. And we're just too powerful. I think we do, people do rely on this. Yeah, some countries do rely on us that they have their opposition. Well, though, you know, can't keep going without our hope. But yeah, dude, I mean, that's like the thing, right? It's like, uh, who is it? Is it 
Uganda they're threatening with no aid because they're, you know, they have their values that yeah. unfortunately, you know, not unfortunately, but it's like they have their values. They don't line up with ours and that's fine because they're their yeah. own country. Yeah. They can, they can make whatever laws they want in their country. Just exactly. like Canada yeah. can do whatever it wants and restrict yeah. free speech. They could do that. Mexico can let the cartels run wild. Mexico could do that if they want. You know, everybody, every country can run itself how they want, how they see fit. It's like, we got to run ourselves the way, you know, we we see fit as well. It's like, we got to stop trying to help everybody we, when we can't even help ourselves, when when our people are struggling. You know, we got homelessness, homelessness just, you know, getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So... We got to focus on, like you said, you, you know, focus on here. Give us a year to to recover. You know, Ukraine doesn't need another. What did they request today? Another like 15 or 19 billion. I forget the exact number, but it's like, dude, they don't need that. We need that. You know, I think I saw that the the country is like over a trillion dollars in credit card debt now. Something like yep. that. So it's yep. like, you know. It's tough, dude. It's tough. People have to, you know, a lot of the the income people had two, three years ago, ain't ain't enough today. You know, it yep. the incomes didn't go up as much as Biden wants to talk about and take credit about all the all the jobs that he quote unquote created when they opened the country back up after COVID. It's like the salaries, people's salaries didn't go up. And all this inflation, food went up, gas went up. It's like, and and we're giving our tax money that we, you know, we get tax, I don't know, 40%, whatever it is, like from our checks overall, half of what we make, you know, because you got federal, you got state tax, more than half of what we make goes to some form of government, only for it to go to another country that, what, what, is, you, what is Ukraine doing for us? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what they're not doing. They're not letting us know their freaking battle plans. You know, they're still keeping us in the dark after all the money we throw at their faces, you know, and we just give let, let us know a little bit. And they're, you know, we might as well be helping out Russia. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's, I don't know, dude. It, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy that that's what we're doing right now. That's what this administration is focusing on. So, you know, we'll, we'll see, dude, because like, you know, going back to the the guy in Utah, it's like the the FBI overall. You know, people don't even trust it. And yeah. then you know, again, you don't know the full context of how that raid really went down, so that that man ends up dead. Uh, right. You know, you know, maybe I'll you know look into it more and see what happened. But I think that that's one of those things where it's like. You know, people say only, only, you know, cops or only these agencies should have guns. I'm like, well, should they? Should they be the only ones? I don't know. You know, um, people, people don't. That's the the one thing that I don't get is like the people that are so anti-cop are also for gun control, and that cops and federal and agencies are the only ones that have guns. Like, again, that liberal logic, how does that make sense? How do you not trust cops, but then want them to be the only ones that have guns? Okay. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> yeah, we see, we've seen them. We've seen the videos where, you know, anybody can, you know, a, a discharge can just happen to anybody, whether you know how to deal with guns or whatever. And uh, I am not. <laughs> I don't know. But look. <laughs> So this this is the I'm, I'm gonna show the video of the of the 7-Eleven thing, right? Just so if people haven't seen it or haven't heard it, so they can hear it. And then, you know, it's kind of wonder I wanted Danny on today. We got caught up at work, but because you know it's near his hood, and then that way he can kind of give some insight on this. But um, I'll play this one, and then we'll 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 talk about it after. Can I get a 
Hey, dude, dude. <laughs> the cameraman, dude. It's like, let me, let me get something. It's like, oh on, man, dude. this guy, this guy, he, he's jumping teams, man, back and forth. <laughs> Really nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. It's like they're not gonna do nothing. You just have to be playing. You have insurance. You have insurance. What? Did you have insurance? See, that's what people are, are messed up, dude. They think insurance is gonna cover everything. God damn! Ain't nothing you can do that. And nothing you can do, man. Tell you call police. What? And nothing you can do, man. Tell police come in. That's the thing, too, dude. Like, imagine that's your store. You know what I mean? You worked hard to to set up to sell all that stuff, and then this dude comes in. Uh, I believe is the third time they said that he's uh, tried to rob the, or has robbed this place, and it's like, you know, it's like, no, there's nothing you can do. It's like I'm a. I'm probably gonna hey, do hey, something. Hey, 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 don't, hey. Hey, man, you do, man. don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. There you go. Handle it. Ah. He's lucky they didn't. They could have gone to Sharia law. That would have been real different, real quick. Okay, what I see. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> now the guy switched sides again. <laughs> so they were they were going to talk about potentially charging that guy for, you know, beating the the guy with the stick there. But, you know, that's the thing. It's like in California, you know, it's unless that person uh, threatened them. You know, where they felt like, all right, there's going to be some bodily injury, uh, great bodily injury, I think is the terminology in California. Then, like, beating them with that stick is is good. But if if he didn't do anything like that, then it's like, you know, you got these DAs or whatnot that are going to go, OK, yeah, we're going to charge him with with the with the crime because he beat the guy that was robbing his store. and. And it's like, okay, so here, here's the thing, right? The guy recording, he's like, hey, you can't do nothing till till the police shows up, right? <laughs> here, here's how, here is how people in these cities have gotten just completely out of hand. That 7-Eleven in Stockton is across the street from the police department. Think about that. So that's the third time, supposedly, that that guy has robbed that 7-Eleven. That 7-Eleven is across the street from the police department. Like. That, think- and that brings us back, Daniel. That brings us back to your point, right? Do we wait? You know, are they are they the only ones that should have the guns? You know, the the, the federal agencies or whatever it is. How long did you say it took the police to get across the street to that 7-Eleven? <laughs> 15 minutes? 50 minutes. 50 minutes. You're talking about things can pop off in 15 minutes, you know? So if I'm... That's if they didn't get put on hold. Yeah. If I'm hoping to for somebody to use a gun to, to save me from this guy, who, and he, that guy pretended to have a gun, whether he had it or not, he reached the, to his back and he said something, I'll blast you or something. That's that's all. See, so that's the thing. It, as soon as he says that, legally... Then you can blast them with the stick, whatever you got. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's know? the thing. That's the thing, dude. That's like if if we're you know we're in California, they're trying to disarm everybody, even legally armed citizens. They're making it harder every year, every time these Democrats get you know they they have a supermajority. So every legislation they're trying to pass some some just bullshit gun laws. And and it's like just makes it harder for people that, you know, own a store that just, you know, live in rough areas to to defend themselves. Right. Hey, you know? hey. Uh-huh. Daniel, I live 
you know, back in 94, this East Palo Alto was the murder capital, you know, and things have gotten better, you know, since then. It's not that bad, but I still do think you need, you need a gun, you know, you need to have it on, not on, mm-hmm, I keep that to myself, but you should have one at your home to protect the people that you love. You don't yeah. know, you know, who can come in at night and, you know, I, like they say, right, I'd rather be the samurai in the garden than the gardener in, in, in the middle of a war, right? Yeah, yeah. You just got to be prepared, man, because there's... It doesn't have to be a particular race. It doesn't have to be a particular, you know, anything. It's just any crazy person. Any yeah. crazy person can just pull up, see the door open, walk in while you're buying milk and somebody's doing what they, you know, doing their dirty thing, you know. So do I wait those 15 minutes? Yeah. Is that a guarantee? 15 minutes, is that, is that the best numbers we're looking at? Am I going to average out 30 minutes? You know, I can't yeah. wait. I'm not yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna limit my limit myself to a bat. I'm not gonna limit myself to a knife. It it's not about when it comes to those type of fights. It doesn't. It doesn't come to should the fight be fair. I mm-hmm. want every playing card on my side when it comes down to you versus me in my house. Yeah. You know. So I think that's. Yeah, I can't no, I... wait. I can't <laughs> wait for, for somebody else to take care of me. That's that's. Democratic talk, dude. That's Democrat talk. Oh, the government needs money and help. I'm a little bit. Get out of here, man. Just let me mind my own business. Don't worry about what I got in my, in my, in my case or in my safe at home. Yeah. Just know you're probably safer with me being on your block. You know, <laughs> at home. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the thing. It's like exactly what you're talking about. It's like that's why the. It's called the castle doc- doctrine, right? Which is like the four corners of your house. You're pro- when when you're in there in your home, you're protected, right? So if you have a gun, someone breaks in, you know, you you're you're more than legally capable of pointing that gun at that person, telling them to get out, right? Amen. And if they don't, I'm capable. <laughs> you mean California, right? Because that's the thing too. It's like, you yeah. know, he's already broke in. That person broke in. You can you know, point your gun at him, tell him to get out. See, California is different. You can't automatically shoot them unless they start to either charge at you. You see their hands. They got, they got a gun. You know what I mean? Or if they don't just straight up leave and start running towards, you know, deeper into your house. I don't know the room where you have your, your little. You've exhausted everything, everything in your power to get this guy. Then it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Right. So, you know, we, we do have that here at, at least, but you know, that's the thing. If you're in your house, it's like, yeah, you probably should own a gun. You should, you know, keep it for, for your safety, the safety of your family, because, you know, when we see things like that, that lawlessness, it's like, it, it goes on everywhere. It, those, those are just examples of, you know, one example of a store, right. And the store owners fought back, but how many times have you seen the videos where, People just snatch all kinds of things and they're running out, you know, for what is it for equality? You know what I mean? What does, what does me running into the Gucci store and taking six bags? What is that going to do? What is that for? You know, it, we're, if we're not, we're not applying a, a standard of, of civility, right. Then we're going to have all this chaos. So, you know, people, should be waking up to this and hopefully they are because again like you i think you mentioned it earlier it's like when it gets close to you then you're gonna you know then you're gonna want something or or then you're gonna wish this or that yeah, and it's gonna be drastic you, you yeah you can't wait for that you can't wait for that moment because who knows if that in situations like that you know if that guy had a gun and they just turned he turned got it out Shot them. That's it. It's over. You know that those store clerks are are gone for what? For cigarettes. You know what I mean? But it's like they don't know that. So anybody that makes any threat towards you, towards you know bodily injury, then you know defend yourself. Illuminate. And and if you got what you, <laughs> you know, if you got something else, then it is what it is. That's that's the risk that they take. Yeah. Right. That's the whole. You know, the whole point of the try that in a small town, it's 
exactly that. It's like you 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 mess around, you're gonna find out, right? No, and Daniel, you you and I both know as you know responsible gun owners, it's not a it, it would even when you're in that situation, if you're in that where you're pointing at somebody, an intruder, he already hit you, he hit everybody else in the house. You, oh my gosh, to to even pull that trigger because you know after you pull that trigger, you know you're alive. But you're dealing with the consequences. You know, you're going to have to give up your guns. You're going to lose some rights. You're going to probably do some time for the, you you're know, for the attorney fee inconvenience of somebody work. else coming inside. Yeah, you're home intruding, you know. Yeah. It's it's crazy, dude. It, it's You're right, you know. You're going to have to deal with lawyer fees. You're, you're going to miss work to go to your court cases. So, you know, that's the thing. It's like that's why, you know, when – People say, you know, if you if you got a gun in your home, get the insurance. You know, in San Jose, it's different because you need insurance to buy the gun. Yeah, that's a whole different buy thing. Ammo. You know, to buy ammo, it's like. But if you you're a responsible gun owner and you know you have insurance for that, like uh, there's U.S. Law Shield, there's U.S. CCA stuff like that. If you have that, someone breaks into your house and you got a, you know, nobody nobody that's a gun owner wants to. You actually shoot and kill somebody, right? I don't want anybody to break into my house so that I have to shoot and kill them, right? I don't want to be out in public where something happens where I want to, where I'm gonna have to shoot and kill someone. That's not, that's not the purpose. Or but you're however, to be a hero. Yeah, you know? but however, if it comes down to it, then I will do it. So that's the thing. It's like, it's not that I want to, but if it comes down to it, I want to be prepared. And and that's the thing. And when you do, especially in this state, it's like, yeah, you're going to be going through a lot of, uh, you know, illegal battles. You know, you're going to have to deal with the the police, the district attorney figuring out if you shot, if you're if you're if that was a good shot. You know what I mean? If it was in if you were legally uh, protected in making that shot. Yeah. You know, then you're going to have him to be- right here in between his back and his you're in trouble. <laughs> you yeah. Know? And then you're going to have to potentially deal with the civil lawsuit of because that family is probably going to sue you for killing their family member that broke into your house and threatened you. So it's like, you know, it, it just the way that the system is set up, it, it's it's not it doesn't help law abiding citizens that are just trying to protect themselves. Right. So, you know. And that's the thing. So you got, you got that right. The FBI shows up, kills a man. You got people that are breaking into stores or other businesses where they're, you know, people are just working hard, trying to make a living, trying to, you know, live the American dream, right? You know, you own your Seven Eleven. You're you're just trying to get by, and you know, you got these people coming in and and taking things, right? And then you got people that justify it by saying, oh, you know, insurance will cover it. It's like, dude, no, that's that's a loser mentality. Yeah. And, you know, what worries me, Daniel, you know, I am starting to see these videos more often than not, you know, where like, you know, the person is playing uh, defense right at the door, you know, and they're slapping the stuff down or, you know, whatever the person is trying to rob, you know. And it, again, I think that's sad that that guy has to do it, you know. Mm-hmm. But how can I be mad at that situation that that guy, you know, he's trying to hold it down for Walmart. He's trying to, they're holding it down for 7-Eleven, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but what happens to the guy that, that's doing that? Like the guy in Pleasanton at the Home Depot, homeless lady shot him up for trying to stop him, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. And it was for, to stop what? Her stealing from a couple brushes, you know? So it's like, it it is crazy seeing people getting frustrated that they're like, well, nobody else is gonna do. It. I'm just gonna take it into my own hands, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's like, though, you know, it. I, I don't want to see anybody's life getting taken just because they had to hold it down for 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 a corp that's just gonna hire somebody else. Yeah. But you know, the same people that that mouth what I just said want to defund the cops. Mm-hmm. You know, what's the social work you're gonna do? You know. Yeah. Not much. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like, you know, that's some of the stuff that, that makes no sense, right? And, you know, it, it's 
it's going to get to a point where, you know, something's going to happen again. Something like that is going to is going to happen. The media is going to flip it, make it about something when it's just about, you know, how we were talking about uh, with Danny last time when we were talking about the the whole riots in Chicago when when, you know, they were going wild a few months ago. And even I don't, I don't really pay too much attention to it, but the recently in New York. Right. They just had all kinds of uh, just riots and lawlessness over. I forget what it was, some streamer or something. I, I I didn't pay attention to it, but it's like, you know, the policies, like as much as like you want to be upset at these kids for for acting out that way, it's like, well, the policies in place, the the government that the local government that's been in place <clears throat> isn't doing anything to discourage that kind of behavior, right? And you know, you got <clears throat> parents too that aren't also not discouraging that kind of behavior and it's just every every time like like you said you see more and more and someone's gonna someone's gonna fight back someone's gonna try to defend a store and you know they're gonna lose their life it's like when the when the blm things were happening i don't know if you remember um i think his name was david dorn where he he was a security guard at a store and someone was stealing the TV and he tried to stop him. And I think they shot him in the head and killed him. Nobody talked about him. Right. And, you know, he was a black man just doing his job. And he got killed in the BLM riots because someone was stealing a TV. But nobody talked about it. And, you know, something like that more, you know, hopefully they don't. But like more things like that are going to happen because, yeah, people see that nobody else is doing it. Right. The cops aren't doing it. My local government isn't making anything better so that we don't have to worry about this kind of stuff right and then i can't even go buy a gun because this this and that right and if i do buy a gun i need it i need to wait 10 days i need to pass this background check that background check and it's like and if i want to carry i gotta go and hope that my county the sheriff there isn't a little anti-2a bitch you know what i mean you gotta hope that they're able to give you a ccw because you're in law by because <laughs> you're a law-abiding citizen, right? But the criminals, again, they're not going to follow the law. They're going to have their guns. So that's the thing. It's like something's going to happen, and either people are going to wake up or they're going to fall for it again. So, you know, and then and then <laughs> to kind of go off of that, then you got things like this, where that's why mm-hmm. this Things like this is why the Democrats cannot have the House. This, like, things exactly like this. They can't have the House. They can't have the Senate. They can't have the presidency. They can't have a supermajority in federal government because they're going to take away our rights. Just straight up. They, they They don't care about, you know, our freedoms. They're going to use certain words that sound good to people and then you're going to have the the people that are quote unquote useful idiots falling for it because it sounds nice it sounds like they're trying to do something to help the people so it's like you got democrats that are introducing bills to Mm -hmm. a one thousand percent tax on semi-automatic weapons that's all handguns rifles and shotguns one thousand percent tax you know what I mean? I think the example here is like the semi automatic at the bottom it says a semi automatic rifle allegedly used in the Uvalde shooter cost would have cost eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars instead of its current price. They didn't even have to mention Uvalde. That's the funny they, part. Yeah, they didn't have to mention that. They could have just said if your gun costs two thousand dollars, <laughs> it's gonna cost twenty thousand dollars now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, hmm. I, it, th- this is the kind of stuff that gets me really upset because I don't know if that's a federal law. If they're trying to, if they're trying to, well, make yeah, this is the house. This is a federal. This is a, that's the thing, right? If you make it federal, the people in California over here in Shoreline or Redwood City aren't dealing with the same thing that the people in Nebraska are are suffering through. You know, mm-hmm. all right, maybe you can pass by in California and never own a gun, never need a gun. But in Nebraska, Utah, all these places where it's cold and there's bears, there's animals trying to kill you. You got to kill for your food. You know, 
that's the kind of stuff where you try and make these umbrella laws and cover it and hopefully, you know, it go but you know, making laws for other places that you that we, we when you call them flyover states. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's, that's the thing too. It's like it's like we, we talked with with Peter about this, is how they name the bills, you know. That this is what they're calling this one, the assault weapon excise act. So again, there's that word assault weapon. People don't know what the hell that means. The people that use this word in these bills can't tell you what an assault weapon is. You know, a bat is an assault weapon. That stick that the store owner uses is an assault weapon because you fuck around, I'm assault you with it. <laughs> then, uh, an, even their verbiage, high capacity. My gun's not high capacity. They took all my bullets. I can only have 10. <laughs> what are they talking about? A high capacity could be any rifle if you just put a 30, 45, or a 60, or a drum. Get, <laughs> get out of here. And again, you're only going to make it more expensive for the people in Nebraska, those those other states that but you know, need the gun. <laughs> because it's stupid. Because you know what this does, too? It's like it makes people, okay, well, shit, I'm going to go buy a gun right now. Then I'm not going to pay. A I'm not gonna black pay. market, baby. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay eighteen thousand dollars. I'm gonna go tomorrow and get it for a thousand. Yeah. You know, because I don't know these crazy Democrats, these crazy politicians. You know, obviously they got other ideas where I I won't be able to buy a gun if I don't buy it now. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you haven't bought a gun, yeah, go buy one. This thing will probably this thing more than likely will never pass. Yeah. It, oh my goodness. This thing and, should never pass. They should burn this fucking bill immediately. That's where, they, that's where they shoot themselves in the in the foot, you know, when they reach too far. That's never going to pass. You know, that's never going to. Who in the right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, dude. It's the words. It's the 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 the, the politicians. They use words. Why did you mention Uvalde? Right. You could have just used. You didn't even have to mention gun. You know, you spent 2000 on this. Guess what? Now with a thousand bucks, with a thousand, you know, percent increase, tax increase, mm -hmm. this is, they just want to get you back. They want to, they want every time they're talking to you that it's just uh, breaking news, murder, death. And it's. Yeah, dude. And that's the thing, dude. Like, like we said earlier, it's like you go through your values. It's like one party is doing a lot of this overreach, this unnecessary bull crap more than the others, as far as. You losing rights as far as you losing what you can say, you losing, um, you know, your ability to buy a gun. One party is doing this more often than the other. And it's like, you know, hopefully people wake up because it, it's one of those things that it's like, all right, you know, there's a lot of people that probably are going through it right now financially, right, because of this administration. And it's like, how many of them are going to vote for this same damn administration again, right? How many, you know, Latinos are going to vote for Biden again because they still believe Trump is a racist? You know what I mean? How many Latinos are going to continue to over and over and over and over vote for Democrats? It's like, you know, my point, our point is like, we're not saying you have to be a Republican, but damn it, like. Look, look through it all, right? You For can't once, tell me Biden is your best. <laughs> you see a Biden and go, that's, that's the guy. <laughs> yeah, it's like for once, just try something else. You obviously see LA, you know, we'll, we'll stick to California, LA, San Francisco, all these big cities that are supposed to be, you know, attractions, beautiful. They, they're dumps now. And who's been running them for years? The same party. But it's like, who keeps voting for them? The people that live there keep voting for them. It's like, stop. Stop voting for these people. They're not improving your quality of life. They're improving themselves. A lot of these people are super rich. Look at Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi's doing good. But what about her district? You know what I mean? You know, you got you got people that, that have advance themselves and they're supposed to be representing certain districts and their their districts look like crap you know but the crazy part is people keep voting for them and you know again it's not to say yeah become a republican it's just hey it's not working try something else you know 
if you're willing to try 40 years of living in a dump, you don't want to try two years of seeing, hey, let's see what this guy can do instead. You know, maybe he's not a racist. Maybe he's not, you know, whatever label they want to throw at him. Let me see what this person or what he or she does in two years. And if they're worse than these past 40 years, then I guess I'll go back to what the hell I've been doing. But you know what I mean? Like, that, that's what I don't understand how how people can constantly. Well, you know, obviously it's manipulation. That's that's the root cause of a lot of it. But it's like they're constantly just voting for this same party without results. Well, I think I think it has a lot to do with, you know, the outreach, right? You're doing what you got to do, Daniel, with with this podcast to reach out to people that maybe those guys, those Latinos or Hispanics are on the line. You know, you and me are constantly talking to, you know, I don't know if we can say what trade they are, but, (laughs) you know. We yeah. talk to guys all day with papers, without papers, they're red, they're yellow, whatever, they're root, you know, they're up there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they'll hit me with some conservative stuff where I'm just like, dude, maybe you're a little radical, dude. But then <laughs> you say something and, you know, that, you know, you say you something. sounded like a white supremacist to me. Yeah. And if somebody, <laughs> but, but they're the same person where if somebody yells, um, uh, screw Donald Trump. They're like, oh yeah, screw Donald Trump. Yeah. Because but they, they they can't make that connection where I am Donald Trump. I think exactly <laughs> like him. And I you know, I'm just like, yeah. yeah, you know. So they're red at the end of the day. I think I'm I'm throwing out these red pills and they're just red pilling me, you know. Mm. And I just I like to shoot them in the right direction. Why do you think why do you think they're doing that to us, you know? Yeah. And they're right there, man. They got it. They understand. They understand that that we're getting screwed, you mm-hmm. know? But what I do like about, you know, our Hispanic or Latino or the Mexicans, you know, with, we're workers, man. And more often than not, I don't see too much too too much uh, playing the victim card, you know? Yeah. And I'm not, there is a little bias because I am Mexican. <laughs> but... I nobody nobody's told me to wait for a handout ever. I've never I mean, seen, I, I can't imagine you either, Daniel. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, I mean, there's there's people that right that that and it's happened to me, right? Someone someone provided me an opportunity, but at the end of the day, it's like it's up to you, right? It's up to me to was keep that a, opportunity. Was it a Mexican guy that gave you an opportunity? It was my uncle, <laughs> Uncle Josh. So he gave me an opportunity. You know, when I was like, what? Um, shit, I was at least 21, maybe 22 when he hired me. But it's what he told me. He's like, look, I'll get you in. It's up to you to keep the job or grow or or get up, you know, or move up. You know, that, that's on you. I'll get you in. But it's up to you to see where you go with it. We're working and, on it. You know, We're working on it, Sapo. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? And it's like, and it's like, yeah, he told me, he's like, because if I have to fire you, I will fire you. So, you know, that's, that's what he told me. He gave me the opportunity and, you know, I've taken it. And that's, that's the thing. People, people get that opportunity and it's good if they get it. If you have someone, you know, that's, that's gonna give you that opportunity, you know, you take advantage of it and you try to grow with it. And then if, if not, then you know, if you lose out your opportunity, then that's on you, right? But, you know, Latinos, Hispanics, Mexicans, whatever you want to label it, it's, yeah, typically hardworking. They, they, they get their money. They, you know, a lot of them, real, real stuff. They come up here, they work, they send money down there, and they're building their home down there. And then when they think it's time, they go back down and they live their life. But they came and they worked hard and then they're gone. And Daniel, to throw just to throw, because th- there's a lot of stuff that we're missing in between all that, right? They come over here not knowing how to read the language, how mm-hmm. to read their own language, how to write. Yeah. And they're there. They're there yeah. trying to get to work. So if you think, you know, when they're saying that it's racist to go show ID to vote, my primos and all that, dude. My little, my little people. They're doing it, man. They, they're doing what they gotta do. They're filling out the time cards and all that stuff. But they, they're trying. Yeah. You know. 
Yeah, no. You got Americans know how to read, write, citizenship, everything, and they're they're on this corner. I got my own Lazy. family, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, it makes zero sense. If you got legs, walk. If you got hands, use them. If you got a brain. Use start dancing, start entertaining this <laughs> <laughs> Do something. <laughs> Do something with your life, man. You know what I mean? If like you're around all, all the whole time, no one's gonna save you. There is no Prince Charming. There is no nobody. You're alone. You better yeah. do it. Get the, married. The, the government somebody. is not gonna help you. The government is not your friend. The government is just regular people that are just interested in their self gain, whatever they're gonna gain from it. Like we said, a lot of those people, and Danny said it a lot of times before. Those people don't have morals. They're not ethical people. The people like that have a harder time getting into those positions because they're not taking that dirty money. They're not taking this, this, um, uh, what do they impeach Trump for? The, the quid pro quo of, of, of these dirty politicians, mm -hmm. right? They, they get companies, corporations donate a mon money so that they can run ads and then get elected so that then when they're in office, they're doing policy that benefits those those companies, right? They're getting kickbacks. They so, did, they're the CEOs later in 10 years' time with their resume. Yeah. So it's like BlackRock. The government, in. the government isn't your friend, right? Yeah, they gotta look into BlackRock, dude. Somebody, somebody has somebody to get, well they, shout out my they, boy Vivek. Vivek's <laughs> coming after them, dude. He's gonna be the guy, man. You wait for him, man. Wait for him. He's a little <laughs> but hey, dude, hey, if if you're coming at the Black Rock, dude, you got the cojones to come after Black Rock. They're the real, they're the real owners of America, man. Who is it? Black Rock Vanguard, and I forget who else. But it's like, dude, they own majority of so many corporations. Daniel, you're talking like, about cleaning supplies, TV, pools, everything. 80% they, of they, every corporation is under black is almost under Black Rock. That's why they all have to do all this. D I C S G whatever yeah. bullshit that is, because they all get their funding from them, and if they're requiring that, it's yeah. like yeah, all these companies are gonna do all that. That's why you're gonna see, you know, Bud Light put a put a trans person. Daniel, on their, was Dick Cheney? On their is Dick what company was Dick Cheney the CEO of that he gave the company when we went into Iraq and he they they were in charge of rebuilding? It wasn't BlackRock, was it? Uh, Something along that. Right, I am off the top of my head. I don't remember if he did Cheney come in and see if I could Google it. And I'm pretty sure that those that that's the company that that gets the contract to build all these places. <laughs> Hallibur. Hallibur. Halliburton, Halliburton, yeah. So <laughs> think about it, man. That was during the Bush times, right? We yeah. had Obama for another eight years. BlackRock is still around. Those places are still getting contracts under the Obama administration. So both sides are just as equal as you know yeah. as, as they're bending the knee to, to BlackRock. Yeah. And that's what again, I hate to repeat myself, but that's what I tell people. It's like we're not telling you what to do. We're just telling you look into things look into it. and see where you land. And if for some reason you land in the same spot, then it is what it is. That's where you landed. But don't just have your opinion, your you know, whatever it is, your your thought process assigned to you. It's like, nah, look into things yourself, you know, and, and see if it makes sense or not. That's what people have been saying, right? And if you say that, it's like, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist because you don't believe. It's like, yeah, I don't I don't believe the government. No, I don't believe the media. I don't believe Fauci. I don't believe that scientist, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I don't believe what they got to say. These people are paid to say what they got to say. They're paid. They're paid. I don't get paid to say anything, but I, I'll still talk my shit, but I don't, I don't get paid for it. Fauci, if you want to pay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, man, it's they, they all got paid and they're walking scots free. You yeah. know, we were talking earlier too about Biden. You know, is he gonna have to pay? He ain't paying for nothing, man. He ain't paying if he's still alive after all these accu accusations, after he, he's doing time or whatever. And mm -hmm. then we'll forget about Hunter, and then yeah. th there'll be some, there'll be something else. You yeah. Know? So, so we'll see. We'll see what happens in 2024. Like I said, it's like. You know, if Trump gets in there, because they're trying hard to not have him get in there. But if he happens to get in there, we'll see how it all plays out. But it's like, 
you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it feels like, all right, you know, they say you play stupid games, win stupid prizes. It's exactly what it feels like. It's like all these indictments and all this stuff that they're doing feels like a stupid game that at the end it's going to boomerang and they're going to win a stupid prize. Here's a stupid game. How about, you know, Trump wins and makes Biden the vice. And goes only for the only reason is to show you guys you wanted to be president. Look how he's gonna look in four years. Look how he's gonna deteriorate under vice, you know. <laughs> and you wanted him to be president, you know. Hey, dude, you know who's got it easy? As you say that, dude, Kamala, dude, I haven't seen her. Is she alive? Shit, dude, she's out there <laughs> giving gypsy curses, man. <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen I haven't seen or heard from is is she missing? Did they got her? Is she in Ukraine? What's going on? I don't know. Is that I why we're trying to are we trying to save Kamala? What's going they, on? They're gonna put Kamala in Obama's little <laughs> his pond, yeah, paddle board. paddle boarding. <laughs> Dude, she don't watch out. That's I haven't seen I haven't heard from anything about her. Hey Daniel, how how <laughs> how corrupt? you have to be or just how it's not even corrupt how because more diving into conspiracy right but how how crazy is it for daniel if i was in your if you had a pool at your house and i drowned nobody's yeah. gonna think damn daniel get out the pool man right <laughs> yeah daniel drowned him murdered him but it was one of the first things you know and i guess maybe it could just be the other side right but it's like it's pretty prominent that people were saying, like, oh, dude, I think that guy saw some stuff and uh, saw Big Mike. Oh, hey, don't come <laughs> after me. But I don't know, man. That's crazy that, you know, you were to get those type of allegations, you know, <laughs> being the – what, everybody says Obama is the most, like, well-rounded, most, uh, you know, yeah. president, president, you know? Yeah. He's but so not crazy. enough for you to be like, ain't no way somebody died in his pond and he didn't know about it. <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah, it, and it's crazy too because it's like it was their personal chef, right? It's their, I mean, who knows, right? It's how they <laughs> eat, dude. <laughs> Wait, I'm you know, a... If there's anybody intimate, yeah, it's, yeah. it's that guy, you know. I, I want to see how Dang, long House of Cards type stuff, dude, where it's just a little push, a little push into the subway, and man, nobody sees you. Mm. How long was he the chef? Do you know? I don't know, man. I think there was. They saved them or something like kind of like you could be our, you could be our. We heard about you. You could be our. Mm, I don't know. Dude. <laughs> you think he saw something? You think he did something? No, well, I'm all I'm saying is like I, you know, I don't know how long he was the chef for, but let's Who's just say the investigators. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say. He was the chef for, I don't know, since he was in office. Let's say his second term. Let's say 2012 to, I don't know, what would be this year, right? Was he still? I think the, so. It was at so, his house. He's, he's incorporated somehow. Somehow, right? right? Yeah. Unless he got a house there, which is like, yeah, damn. No, I'm going to go, go learn how to cook some more real quick. But um, it's like, let's say they knew this guy for at least 10 years. Let's just say that. It's like, all right, this guy's their chef. Like you said, he knows all their habits as far as, like, what they eat, you know, what time they eat, junk food. Like, you know, just, hey, as a chef, you're probably going to pick all that up 10 years, let's just say. And you're probably going to see them a lot, talk to them a lot. You know, you're preparing their meals. They, they got to trust you. You're going right? to hear Big Mike go, Obama, <laughs> get in here. <laughs> Obama. You know what I mean? Like, I think the day after, or two days after they found him dead, it's like, uh, what's his name? Barack and 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 Mike were out, you know, golfing and playing tennis, or something like that. That's true, right? It's like, it's like if this, if you know, if it's somebody that's gonna be in your house, right? Obviously, he's your chef. He's gonna be in your home cooking. And you know this person for the past 10 years, like, are you gonna really just be out there golfing? You know what I mean? Dude, That's my what fish guys the other day, it. man. And I took I, I blocked the rest of my calendar for the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you would imagine there'd be some kind of friendship there where if that did happen, 
you know, you'd be kind of like, you know, upset, sad, you know, you'd be mourning. I I wouldn't imagine I'd be golfing. I mean, I don't got I don't got that kind of money. I'm not. I'd be posting boy. that P Diddy song everywhere. I'll be missing. <laughs> <laughs> Making right? it a little. <laughs> but it's like I don't I don't know. That's what that's what makes it like you know if people want to you know talk about conspiracies and all that. It's like yeah, that's what makes it believable because it's like, dude, you guys are acting like nothing happened. Yeah. So I don't know, man. The it, it's <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> How we end up talking about this guy? <laughs> well, Big Mike. Uh, oh, you say I said Kamala was gonna. They, there's no way to get oh, rid Kamala. of him. All right, Biden steps down. Mm-hmm. Democrats aren't happy with no. Him. And that's the thing. It's like I don't. Is Biden gonna make it to 2024? Is he really gonna run? They're really gonna run him again? It's like. I feel like if they run them, it's because they know they're going to cheat. There's yeah. no way in hell. There is no way if you put with no, you know, BS indictments, no this or that, just straight up one on one Biden versus Trump, and as people go vote. I don't. I don't know. I don't see Biden winning that. It, it, they got something in the shadows, Daniel, and I think at the at the end of that tunnel, it's Gavin Newsom. I think it's I, Gavin Newsom, and it's 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 uh the Pelosi, those guys. I do they are they royal blood or something? Right? No, they're they're related. I, I think that's his. Is that his aunt or something? But they come from like a long line of criminals. Certain, you know, criminals. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, man. No, and that's the thing. It's like I I think I I think it's gonna be Newsom. At the end, like, who's gonna run? But it's like, okay, it can't be Kamala with him. No, so, like, she be no. Who would they have with Newsom? Uh, he said. Well, he said. Well, because of Di- Diane Feinstein getting old and all that stuff, and I think she just stepped down and gave some type of power to her daughter. Um, a power of attorney. They want shift. They want Adam Schiff or something like that. Schiff, Schiff is running for senator. Okay, they want California. I think they want Adam Schiff, but but we don't. But you no, know, G- Gavin told Pelosi that if Feinstein steps down, he's gonna put a black lady in. Mm. You know, so maybe he'll choose that. Who? And I, they said the name. I just don't. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah, I think Schiff is running for senator, which that's who Pelosi wants. Who, yeah, the, no fucking shit. Yeah, that guy, you know, I don't know. And that's the thing, too, about California. That's like, dude, that's why we got to, like, you know, wake people up. It's like, dude, that dude, as the congressman in charge of all these intel committees and all that, just straight up lied to the public for years. Straight up, just for years, straight up lied to people. And now he's he's trying to advance. He's trying to oh, become a senator. Oh, right? This huh? is the same shift with Fauci where they lied and they kind of pushed it. So, well, Schiff is the one that when 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 they had the impeachment w- about the phone call, remember, he's the one that did like the parody. Like he 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 said that, oh, this is how the phone call went. But it was just like his own made up version. You remember that? Oh, or, or if it would have gone down this way, it would have gone down. This yeah. Way. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> and then he's the one that's constantly like you can look it up. There's like. Yeah, like please a, fact check us. If you don't, if there's yeah. anything we're saying that you don't think is, I've done my time. Yeah, look, look it up. Look up, look up Adam Schiff saying he had evidence about Russia collusion. Go ahead, look it up. See how many times he was on TV telling people he saw evidence of Russia collusion, and 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 see if you trust that guy afterwards. And that's the thing. It's like people can't can't vote for for this guy to become a senator now it's like that's why like you know we gotta wake people up in california and be like dude don't vote for this this that that one's statewide that one's i don't know who who is running as the gop candidate let's see because the gop in california is also (laughs) terrible you know i get it too i get why people don't feel hopeful sometimes 
about California is because the GOP here isn't the best. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. People got to run through hoops or you got to, you know, be in the know, it seems like. So, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't say who. I don't even know who's going to run for Senate on the GOP side for California. It's like GOP, let's see. California. No, I don't I don't see. I know Adam Schiff is one of them, but I don't know. I think uh the primaries are in March. So I think that's when we'll find out for sure who the two who the two candidates will be. But, you know, Schiff is a, Schiff is a, he's an establishment guy. So he's gonna, he's gonna probably get picked, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens then. Yeah. But, you know, Hey, hopefully he doesn't win. We're going to keep talking about these things. We're going to call out all his lies and, mm -hmm. you know. We got a year. We got a year to get people together and 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 really like put a good effort in into stopping this stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, we can't. And I take, think huh? I think it starts with California, man. Where I mean, Silicon Valley. It starts with California. Whatever they can pass here, it's coming to you, and it's coming to your country. If they pass it in New York, they pass it in California. Yep. Same thing if California and New York go under, you're not safe, baby. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's why we we yeah, the people in California need to stand up if it if this is not what they're appreciating. And I do blame if there are those Republicans, you know, the ones that live up north in California that continue to vote that way because they are rhinos, basically. Mm -hmm. The reason why these people go so far is because you continue to vote for them. Yeah. When yeah. you have the land, you have everything. You have, mm -hmm. you're well established, but because you rather be a California Republican, you don't, you don't, you don't worry about it. Yep. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Well, we'll turn this around. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, that's it. Again, go official Patriot gear. Use promo code LFM2024. Uh, get yourself some, some gear. Support, uh, a company that loves America and, you know, support us as well. Hit share, hit subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Like, whatever. <laughs> With every like, we're one like closer to locking her up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, other than that, man, you know, that's it then. All right, you know, guys. Thanks for coming on. I'm going to play this outro. Mm -hmm. We're out. There you guys. Los latinos anden despertando. Abre los ojos para verlo que está pasando.